Hey everybody, it's Endless One Up. Today we're going to talk about my XR1 Lite by EVGA. This is a fairly inexpensive capture device. It has 4K throughput at 60 frames per second, but it can only capture at 1080p 60. So let's take a quick look at the specification guide here. We show what's in the box. You have the little device that we see right here. We have the quick start guide that we're reading from. You have the HDMI 2.0 cable and the USB 3.0 Type-C to Type-A cable. So this is the Type-C port and then the Type-A port is going into the back of my computer there. I will make note, you should make sure that you're using a Type uh, a 3.0 type port because if you're using a 2.0 port you will get a flashing light here that is not blue it'll be uh, purple so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the guide here we have input and pass through this shows all the different resolutions that it supports and raster sizes so you can see we go the whole ways up to 2160 by 60 frames per second. But max capture is 1080p 60. So that's what you want to make note of. This is what you'll be able to capture for resolution in OBS. But if you have a monitor, you can still output it from this device to that monitor and it'll display at that resolution for you. So only the capture is limited by 1080p 60. Let's take a quick look at the LED information here. This is really important. This is one of the things that let me know what I was doing wrong when I set mine up. Because when I first turned it on, it was flashing purple. And I was like, okay, what's this mean? And uh, I was like, okay, it says it's on. And then I was like, wait. And then I switched my port because I was like, oh wait, this is 2.0 and I need 3.0. So I switched it to 3.0 and it went to flashing blue, just as you see right there. And then down here, if you have HDCP protected, which it is on by default on the PS5, you'll need to turn that off. That's essentially a protocol that stops people from ripping Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff like that. But for game uh, capture, this can be turned off with no issue at all. And then if there's no source found that'll be red, scaling not supported is also red. And those things will be easy to find in OBS and just by simply looking at the little button, or not the button, but the little light there and see what it's flashing at. So mine right now is set up to USB 3.0. We know that because it's blue flashing. If it was red, that would mean that we're either in HDCP protected mode or there's no source or the scaling isn't supported. So what does it mean by scaling not supported? Well, in OBS, you do have some scaling options and it could be sitting on a scaling option that's not gonna support that capture of 1080p. So just keep that in mind. And then OBS is an open broadcast software. It is free software. You can get it at obsproject.com slash download. We're gonna not talk about this little guide anymore. Let's go and look at the device. This is the import, HDMI in. And then on this side, if I wanted it to go out to my computer monitor or to my television, I would take that HDMI cable and go from here to my television. So this cable on this side for the end goes from my PS5 to this device. And then on this side, the HDMI will go from this device to my monitor. And then USB type C is essentially how that signal gets to your computer inside of OBS and how OBS captures it. All right, so here we go. We have the USB 3.0 plugged in. This is the type C and then the type A is plugged into my computer back there and make sure it's in the 3.0 port. You should be able to tell because it'll be flashing blue. And then I'm gonna take my one HDMI cable and we're gonna take the one that's plugged into my monitor and we're gonna plug that into the out port here. And then we're gonna take this cable, plug it into the in port and then take the other end and plug it into the PlayStation. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, you can see we have the HDMI cord plugged in there. It's coming around. We have it in our device and then we have our out going to my monitor. I just have these so you can see this is the one that's going to the monitor. I've turned it on now. You can see that the PlayStation's coming up. So right now, this device is hooked up and the PlayStation 5 is coming in here and then it's, it's going out to the monitor here and then it's going to go to the computer right here with the USB 3.0. So this is all on now. So what we're gonna do is get in our computer and uh, we'll show you how to set it up in OBS and then I'll show you how to turn off DHCP on the monitor adding this device you're going to click this little plus sign down here and you're going to hit video capture device 
and I've already added it here. It's called XR1. I would just, you know, under create new, call it XR1 light or something and then hit okay. And then once you're in there, you'll get this properties window that comes up like this and it might default something like this or something. You just got to turn it on to the EVGA XR1 light and then it should default instantly. If it doesn't, just make sure you do check your, your PlayStation menu here. You're gonna go up to your settings in the top right hand side, and then you're gonna go down to your system, and then you're gonna go to your HDMI, and then right here where it says enable HDCP, you wanna turn this off. Um, it'll say some games and apps can't be used. I have not had that problem yet. But the fact that it says it, you might encounter an issue. Whereas if you do, you know, um, that'd be something that I would really be interested in to see how EVGA follows up on that. But anyways, so you can just turn it off here. See if I turn it on, the screen goes black on OBS. Whereas if I turn it off the screen, you can see it says HDCP and then the actual signal will come back. You probably will have to refresh it. Uh, actually, I didn't have to refresh it. It just sorted itself out there. But you can see that will disable the signal completely. So that's a really big deal. So I am back in the application here. And so I was just looking at how you can capture the audio. And there is this real easy way to do it. If you go to your settings and you go to your sound and then go to audio output, you just need to make sure that this is on HDMI dev device and your headset. I plug in a headset, you'll see that it it'll default to that. So if you're chatting with people and you want your capture to go out, you're gonna have to tell it to go to the TV. And that way it will capture the voices. And then if you want it to capture your voice, you're gonna need a microphone for that. And why do I say that is because it doesn't look like the input for the microphone. You can't have that go out to your That's what it's capturing is the sound through the HDMI. And the only thing you can do is output the voices from your voice chat. Uh, there is a section in here down at the bottom for captures and broadcasts, but I think this is for captures and broadcasts only through the PlayStation function. So this isn't part of your XR1 light stuff, but if you want to, you could do this in conjunction with it and maybe it'll be, allow you to do snippets of where you can hear your voice if you don't have a microphone on your computer that you can record on, but you could easily just use your PlayStation headset and then have a microphone working with OBS that records you talking to your friends. And then your friend's audio is being sent out to your TV via the HDMI device under the sound option. So let's go ahead and do it all one more time in OBS. I'm going to delete this. So it's completely gone. My OBS is gone. I'm going to have to walk you through this. For some reason, it's not showing the changes that I'm making on the screen. So the first thing I've done is added this PS5 scenes. I just hit plus, named it PS5, and then it appeared there. Over here, I hit the plus sign here. And then I go ahead and pick video capture device that's towards the bottom. And then I named it XR1. And then I hit OK. And then once I was in there, once you're in there and you have your new device named XR1, it'll appear in that window at the bottom and you can see it defaulted to this VCAM option. But you get another window that pops up for properties for the device that you just added and then there's a device drop down, and then you just pick your EVGA XR1 light option in there and then that'll actually get it to appear. If you can see, it looks weird on my screen right now and the best way to sort that is if you right click this image and then about uh, about three quarters of the way down, there's a transform option. It's, I'd say it's about halfway down. There's a transform option. If you click on it, it'll give another menu that expands. And then there's a fit to screen option. And that's the easiest way to get it to fit to your screen, right? And then I recorded a little bit of video of showing you that, you know, OBS does let you capture the sound from the, but not with no issue. <laughs> So hopefully this is a really useful video to everybody. It should teach you how to hook up the device, how to capture stuff in OBS. If you got any questions or anything, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.